Okay guys, um, like I mentioned, I would uh, I might make a video on close-ups of the Dama steel blade and uh, with macro settings. So here we are. Kind of give you an idea. This is Vinland Dama steel Damascus. It's a stainless steel Damascus. Um, it has uh, pretty high carbon, high chromium, it's a stainless, like I said. And these uh, marks you see are acid etched in there. And I could feel them like a fingerprint. And um, you want to see something cool, is it's like G10, it's like G10, the uh, handle material and that. Different ways you uh, grind it give different... Uh, take the see the pattern up here when it was ground at an angle it made these squiggly lines because it changed the um, you know the angle So it changes like for instance a beautiful thing is on the spine of this little friction folder. I made it's got this cool uh, striping pattern in there it's, You know so I open this one up and uh See if I can get there. So it's neat. Uh, Dam steel makes a lot of different patterns. Uh, so this one's Vinland for for you that for those of you that like it. But really cool ones are like Odin's Eye and um, uh, Hakapella, and uh, they got this rose one. I forget what it's called. The rose something. So, anyways, uh, I'm showing you that again. And there's the, uh, and then here's this side. Each side's a bit different and unique, like a fingerprint. If I can steady it out here. This side's quite a bit different than the other side. And uh, if I would have etched the spine, that would have been on the spine, but I sanded it. And then uh, when I open up the tang, to reveal the tang, um, if I can get it in focus here, uh, there we go. There's the um, the Damascus pattern there. There's a neat little set of eyes or a couple of circles if you want. And uh, since we're here, I might as well show up uh, the rest of the knife. I don't know. Uh, this ain't the side. I used to have tritium mounted tritium tubes for, for those of you that know what tritium is mounted into the the holes here that's uh, if you look at my uh, website on Facebook called uh, Benchmade Fan Group you can see my knife with the tritium inserts so that the knife uh, glowed 24 hours a day with um, blue but uh, there's some of the uh, it's the G10 texture you might see this is the side that I scratched up a bit but uh, Here's the titanium pocket clip with Benchmade on it. And that uh, bit of the pattern on the G10 there. And the torque screws. And uh, the back spacer, the cutouts for the uh, latch. And here we got the nitrous system. Yeah, this is a good chance to show you the nitrous system here. Um, I have to open it up. Here's the nitrous system. Two, sorry for the movement. Two cut out spring tension pieces of that titanium. And if, pardon me, if I flex the flex the um, latch, it moves it up or down. And if I go this way, it applies force on it. Spring tension there. So that's the, uh, oh, I just lost a light. I'm filming with a Phoenix TK, um, with a Phoenix TK11 XPG R5 flashlight. And I was filming with a, uh, a Rom, Romson RCR5, which is a, uh, both uh, LED flashlights. Otherwise it's dark in here. Uh, just, uh, ooh, this is a one hot light. But, uh, so I just lost a light. So, uh, one more last shot of that Tadama steel blade. There's the uh, polished edge. And sometimes in different light you, get, you can really get a really good effect of it. 
So, there we have it. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you for, uh, for your time. And uh, uh, for those of you that watched my first two videos, here's what I did to the butterfly logo on the, uh, on the original D2 blade steel. I kind of grinded it and chopped it up a bit. But there's that mirror polished edge. And uh, this knife came really pretty from the factory, but I, I beat on it a little bit when I was grinding it. There's the D2. So, uh, one last thing. There's the Spyderco emblem, since I'm at it. And the Dragonfly G10. But anyways, thank you very much for your time, guys. I uh, hope somebody enjoyed it, this out there, and uh, have a good one.